Hello, biology students. We've learned about the cell cycle, which is IPMAT-C as an acronym for all of the parts and stages. Today, we're going to be focusing on the middle part, PMAT, mitosis. But remember, we're going to use this acronym IPMAT-C to understand the whole thing and its correct order. Let's jump in. So before we can jump in, we have to understand a little bit about DNA. So on your notes, there's a chart. We're going to be filling in a lot of vocab words and memory tools in that chart. The first word is chromatin. Chromatin is the type of DNA that's long and unwound and thin. All right. We usually can't see it so well because it's so thin. So our saying is chromatin is too thin to see. That is a way to remember that chromatin is not visible to the naked eye, and it's really not even visible under a microscope. It's that thin. Eventually, DNA will wind itself up into another form that we're really used to seeing, sometimes in science class, which is chromosomes. When it's very tightly condensed or wound up, we call it chromosomes. So I remember chromosomes that they are the thick X's that we see sometimes in the DNA. All right, so those are two types of DNA. Now we have two other words to make sure we know. So we also sometimes in that X shape for the chromosome see a, this middle part of the X. It's called a centromere. I remember that as the center of the X because it sounds like the word centromere. It is also where the two chromatids are together. Chromatid is the kind of half of a butterfly or a butterfly wing. So the yellow and the blue each are chromatid. So I think it's a tidbit. It's half or it's half of the butterfly. Tid, bit, chromatid. All right, lots of words. We'll practice them in class. Now let's jump in to learn more about the cell cycle and specifically mitosis. Woo! So again, we saw last time that the cell cycle, right, is interphase and then has mitosis involved there. So we're going to revisit interphase for a moment here. And you have a chart that has interphase on it. Please note on your chart that in interphase, we can't see the X form of DNA. So that means it must be <gasps> chromatin. It's too thin to see. So because we can't see any X's, we know it's chromatin. In interphase, we also learn that DNA makes a copy of itself. DNA replication occurs. And we also know the cell's growing, and that takes a long, long time. That's a review from last time, so I'm going pretty quickly. Next, we know mitosis happens. Mitosis is when the cell actually does division, and it's a much faster process than interphase. We know by the end of mitosis, we should have two identical genetically identical, meaning same DNA, cells. And so this whole process will be, how do I make sure that I get the same exact copies of DNA in both resulting cells? At the end of mitosis, I will also have cytokinesis. Remember that cyto meant cell and kinesis meant movement. The cytoplasm here is dividing because it doesn't divide before them. So when I'm actually karate chopping the cytoplasm in half, that's cytokinesis. This will look a little different in animals because animals are very pinchable. They have what is called a cleavage furrow, meaning that the cell membrane actually pinches when it's actually karate chopping that cytoplasm in half. Yes, I realize that kind of looks like a butt. And that only happens in animals. Why can't it do that in plants? Well, we know that the plant has a rigid cell wall. So the cell has to form what is called a cell plate in the plant. All right, so that's cytokinesis. So we've revisited and overviewed interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis again, which are the big things. Now we're going to jump into the details of mitosis, a.k.a. PMAT. So we're going to go through PMAT P, M, A, and T at a time. So first, prophase. We see in our new chart that prophase has some pictures. We have an actual cell picture and a diagram of a cell. Here we can see that we can start to actually see the DNA. So our outer part of our nucleus called the nuclear membrane is starting to go away. That's why it's drawn as dots. We can also see, because we can see the DNA forming X's, we say that the chromatin is coiling up into chromosomes. 
We can also see these things called centrioles that I think look like little macaroni shooting out spindle fibers. I like to say that this is Spider-Man shooting out spidey webs because these things are going to be really sticky and going to be useful in a little bit. So again, prophase was P for prepare. So far, we're just getting ready for our DNA to move and do a dance. Next comes metaphase, M. This is when the chromosomes meet in the middle. Remember how I said those centrioles are like Spider-Man sending out spidey webs, these spindle fibers? Well, those spidey web spindle fibers are going to move and whack, attach right to the chromosomes. And when they attach the chromosomes, just like how Spider-Man can move around things with his spider webs, these guys are moving the chromosomes until they all are around the middle. We call the middle the equator because if this was the earth, we'd say that this is the equator. Notice that in an actual cell, it's a little messier looking, but they're all kind of in the middle. So if I see chromosomes in the middle, I know it's M metaphase. Next comes anaphase. Those spidey webs now start to yank and pull on the chromosomes. They pull them towards what we'd say are the poles or the ends of the cell. So it's like Spider-Man's now dragging back whatever he caught. In this case, he caught the chromosomes and we're ripping apart the two halves of the chromosomes, which we called chromatids. It's like breaking a butterfly, which is a really gross image, but they're moving those pieces apart to the poles. Look at that go. Next comes T, telophase. Now I'm starting to form two new nuclei. As I form two new nuclei, I can see in especially my hand-drawn one that I can see that nuclear membrane start to reform. It's usually drawn like this as dots. In my actual image, it's a little harder to see, but I can see the chromosomes beginning to kind of look curved and stuck. And because they're forming that nucleus again around them, the chromosomes again are starting to slowly again become chromatin because at the end of this whole process, interphase will happen again because it's a cell cycle. It will repeat. So this is the end of PMAT. What will happen next? What happens after mitosis? Ah, cytokinesis. So what you will see at the end of your notes is a example of how to do the mitosis hand dance. What you will see here is that each of those parts of IPMATC interface, then we have all of mitosis, PMAT, and then cytokinesis. We can use actual moving of our hands physically to represent each of those different phases because it's really hard to not only know what happened but to be able to also identify them in pictures we'll practice this in class but this visual is really helpful so don't ignore it all right see you guys later